Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and we're back with this scary freaking game, okay? This is uh, Madison, and this is going to be episode 2. We already did episode 1, if you weren't here to see it, I will leave a little button on the top right of the screen and allow you to click that and go back to it. So for those of you that are all caught up, let's get back into this. And we gotta go back into that well, I'm not looking forward to this. Alright, here we are. We're back, and the well is open. We gots to go in it. And right, that's how we get the camera. One second, gotta mess with my audio. Alright, there we go. Into the scary. Okay, I gotta climb. This guy has no body. Oh! I fell. Oh, into the poopy water. God. Oh, the smell. The water is disgusting. I was just making a joke, but I guess it is poopy water. This is not where I want to be. Go towards the light. Oh, there's something on the ground over here. This box is extremely rusty. I won't be able to open it easily. It's got a crescent moon on it. I guess we'll need to get something to open it. Oh. Okay. All closed off now. It wasn't there a second ago. What's that? Officer Russell? Got a rock. Oh, we got a walkie talkie. Hello? You can't answer that now. How do we use this thing? Oh, look at the light. Okay, maybe you gotta wait for it to turn green. <laughs> Stuff's happening. What do we do? Russell? That? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Okay, take a breather. What did we just take a picture of? Nothing? Oh my god, we gotta do it again, don't we? Alright, I hope you guys are ready for this. Three, two, one. Oh. What's in the picture? Nothing. There he goes. Picture. Oh. What is that thing? Can't take a picture of the damn thing. What is that? Oh. This is it. Oh my god. Officer Russell here. June 17th of 1987, 5.27 a.m. I am now entering Madison Hill's basement. Hill? 1987? I can see there's a sort of well in, in the center of the room. <sighs> Looks like it's open. I'm gonna investigate further, see what's on the other side of this. 
What now? in my bed. Oh. Shit. I think I found the missing individuals. Uh, uh, they, they, um, they're, they're all mutilated. Legs, arms, they're, they're just everywhere. I can't see Madison. I don't think she's here. Uh, I gotta get out of here. That lady's brave. What was that? I, uh, I think I'm not alone. There's definitely someone here. It's me. Time travel. Oh, we farted. Oh God. Madison, is is that you? Oh God. Dude. Bubbling. Please. Show yourself. That's in order. Oh God, it's bubbling. Nope. Oh Jesus. Damn feet in the air. Bubbling Stand again. Back. Put your hands up where I can see them. Take a picture. God. Don't come any closer. Step back. We said step back. Where is she? It's getting dark. Don't turn off. Don't turn off. Oh, what's doing it again? No. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, there it is. This cannot be real. So, so this fucking camera belonged to that woman. You just figured that Why out? Why is this happening to me? I gotta get the hell out of... What? <laughs> what is that noise? I heard it over there. Okay, that's not working now. Where you at, creepy lady? Oh god damn it! Jesus! I don't like this game. I don't like it at all. Red doors, man. That woman. Is it possible that she's still alive? Okay, it looks like we gotta take pictures of these doors. Oh, hell no. Okay, I think we just gotta open each one and take a picture. That's a nice door right there. That mahogany. High quality wood right there. And I got chills. Okay, here we go. Ah. Take the picture. Ain't got nothing. Ah. Nope. Man, it's gonna come. Oh, God, this is terrifying. They're building up this is I like suspense right now. Nothing. Or number four. Ah. Nope. Oh my god. Come on.
All right, we got two. Well, we got a lot more doors. Okay. Oh. I'm not liking this at all. Okay. How many pictures we got? Here it is. Nope. It's gonna be the last door I watch. Open. Ditch it. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Oh. In dark. Okay. Here it is. Oh. What's going on? Oh god, they're all shut. What now? Ooh, I just put that picture away. I was scared. They're all locked. Okay. Oh. Oh, the insects are over there. Oh my god, what's going on? Insects are coming from that door. Locked. They're all locked. Take a picture of the floor. Wait, are the insects moving? They're coming from that other door. Oh! There we go. There we go. We're figuring it out. Need a new pair of shorts. Come on, man. Keep the light on. Achievement. Welcome back. Thanks. And we're behind the generator. No way. Man, I ain't built for this. Oh, what is that noise? Oh. Oh, my God. This creepy lady. Hello? Anybody here? Damn. Oh no. Uh, my head. Uh, my head hurts. The, the, the attic. I, I don't understand. Oh, my head. Yeah, I think the demons tell him to go to the attic. Open the notebook. I know where that is, but we need, didn't we need something to pull it down? Okay. It's your time. Oh yeah, we got to look out for those uh, those red pictures too, collectibles. Hello. Attic's this way. Door is locked. Oh. It's further down now. Oh, it's definitely further down. Hi. Definitely wants us to go up. Start climbing. Why are you looking down, man? Look up. I can climb up a ladder into an attic and not look up where you're going. Like, what is that? This is you. How long have you been living in this house, man? You've never been in here. What is this? What's going on with that? Is there a door in here? Oh, there's a broken wall. We might be able to use the hammer. Or the shovel. Nope. Hammer. Nope, can't use none of that. It's creaking so hard. Got ourselves a key. And it says seven, seven, seven. And it's got a heart. I remember that. And this needs pictures here. You don't got any extra pictures besides this thing, but I don't think that goes there. 38 plus 13 equals 51. 
Okay. What's this? The shape of this portrait is quite strange. Okay. Giovanna Maxwell, 56 years old. I'm carrying too much already. That sucks. Fully loaded. I think we gotta take pictures. Oh, what's that? N. So we can't grab any of these because I'm full. Five year old Albert Maxwell. Can I rotate behind it? Five years old. Okay. Picture? I guess that's not going to work because the picture is over the, the back spot. Okay, let's try this one. What number we got? 25. Let's go over here to this one. Boom. Thirty-eight. I don't know what these numbers are for, but we got them. And we got two people in a rowboat. Age is just a number. You can add or subtract, but at the end of the day, when the time comes, you die anyways. Ah, what is that noise? That's pretty accurate. Ooh, here we go. Can I use that? No. We got a bunch of these different clocks. What's in here? 43. 43. Ooh, that's creepy. Okay, maybe I should take a picture of that too. Just in case I gotta remember it later. Uh, that's a good picture right there. Okay, we gotta go empty the inventory. We gotta go back down. Go to that safe. Need to drop some of the stuff we don't need. Alright, turn around. Where was that safe? The 43 was killed by a three-year-old woman who saw a woman was killed by was killed a police officer. The 43 was killed by a three-year-old woman who saw a woman was killed. What's going on? They said 43. What is this? Locked. Okay, it said 43 just like that wall that was behind, uh, it was behind the wall. Hello? Anybody in this creepy place? Is there anything in here? Okay, that's right. Ah, uh, maybe the heart. Yep, that's it. Got another door open. It's their bedroom. Oh, that's nice. It might be a little bit of a narcissist because it's like her all over the wall. <laughs> what a mess. Oh man. The entrance key should be somewhere. Got ourselves that wardrobe. What? The atmosphere, man. What Grandma's do we got here? Diary. Grandma's diary. March 22nd, 1972. They say that having a diary is good for the brain. Well, we'll see how this goes for them then. March 29th, 1972. Today we went to a garage sale near the center. I found a book of very good recipes. Johnny came back happy with a book too. He was very excited about it. It was a good day indeed. April 1st, 1972. I woke up in the middle of the night. Again, I swear. There was someone staring at me in the corner of the room. 
April 3rd, 1972. Today I found all my jewelry scattered all around the room and my wedding ring inside the kitchen sink. I asked Johnny what he was looking for, but he swears he didn't touch a thing. April 5th, 1972. We had to bring Johnny to our bed once again. The book we brought him only causes him nightmares. We have to admit that it is a little scary though. And we got April 9th, 1972. All my jewels out of place again. I cannot find my wedding ring. It was the cutest gift Albert gave, ever gave me. But today, Johnny wasn't at home. Sometimes I feel as if there was someone else in the house watching every step I make. Albert tells me not to worry. He might think I'm starting to go crazy. April 10th, 1972. What a relief. I found the ring in John's room. Honestly, I don't know what to think. How far are we going with this? It's going a little ways, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to skip the dates. I'm just going to read it. I didn't get any sleep last night. I could not get that stupid tale of the eyeless monster out of my head. I don't know why we brought uh, bought him that shitty book. I haven't written for a long time uh, these weeks. I've been from a doctor to another. Something is wrong with my eyes. They don't know what is happening to them. My sight is getting blurrier each day and it hurts a lot. God, doctors say says that I've lost more than 40% of my sight in these last weeks. I find it hard to read, write, watch TV, even think of other things. My pupils are kind of erasing from my eyes. I'm tired of medications. Nothing seems to help. I cannot stand the pain anymore. Why is this happening to me? It's extremely hard for me to move around the house with my eyes like this. I cannot stand the pain anymore. God help me, please. I'm really scared. I know there's someone in the house, but nobody believes me. I know it's true, even though I cannot see it. I feel the presence. There's someone living among us. I know there's someone in the house. I heard noises all night long. I'd swear I heard someone breathing while trying to get a glass of water. I lost more than 80% of my sight. Doctors say they no longer see any solution. I don't want to be alone in this house anymore. I'm not safe here. My ring is out of place again, but it doesn't matter. Nobody will be able to find, find it now. I just hit it underneath. That's it. That didn't look good. Grandma was going through all sorts of stuff. Look at all this medication. Well, that's probably why she looks pretty crazy there. Because her uh, she went blind. Holy medication. Not enough pills to save those eyes. What is this? Why would he keep all this? Grandma died a long time ago. Cataracts. What do we got over here? There are meds everywhere. Eye crawls? More meds? What's in here? She was so sick. June 26, 1972. Elizabeth Maxwell. Ocular depth exam. Cataracts diagnosis. Strange, ty strange types of cataracts, both eyeballs are turning completely white. The patient loses her sight progressively in short periods of time. Ocular damage percentage, right eye 95%, left eye 87%. We cannot define neither as sure what is happening with the patient's eyes. Please continue with the medication as up to date while we find a proper treatment. Next visit, July 26, 1972. I don't know what I would do if I lost my eyesight, that would suck. That's gotta be one of the worst. Especially if you're born without it, or born with it, and you lost it. I feel like that'd be way worse. What um, are these things? Little pieces of film. Ludochrome film, okay. Oh, I'm full again. Oh. What is this? Like it's oh, there's something behind it. Itcher. Okay, it's like the wall's not even there. Can I move it? it won't let me slide it. What's over here? Ooh, okay. We got a place for these now. 
We got one of them. Here we go. Jupiter and Mars. What's this one? Neptune and Uranus. And then we got one more. But we don't have it yet. We gotta go find it. Also looks like a bunch of paintings were off of this. Maybe this fell down. Picture's hat. Anything on the wall? No, just the wall. All right. We're gonna go to the safe so we can pick things up. We didn't have enough room. And I still don't know how to handle these. Looks like there's like two holes there. Need a tool or something. We can't go through that way because it's blocked off now. And then we got that chain up there that's still locked. Okay. Where was that safe at? I think it's back this way. Ah, through here, right? Yep. Okay. Let's try to drop off things we won't need. At least not at the moment. So let's store. Maybe not the new stuff. Got the notebook. Definitely want the camera. How are we gonna open the moon box? And then we might need the uh, the hammer too, because if we need to hang those pictures up. Okay, we're just gonna put the broken shovel in there for now. Achievement. And I guess we'll put the film in there. I'll keep this. We got two slots now, or three open. So, examine. What is that noise? There's something nasty in there. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get that open. Let's head back. We gotta go to those pictures upstairs in the attic. Ruin through the hallway. Creepy stuff. Fault. You guys noticing what I'm noticing right now? Where's where's the statue? That's all. There's no statue there. And the door is open. What's going on? I'm not liking this. Where's the statue at? Only thing around here that was keeping us sane. All right, take a picture. There's pictures surrounding it. It's supposed to show something we're supposed to take a picture of. Maybe we gotta do it like... Okay. Cassette tape. There's definitely someone here. Of course there is, man. You're possessed. What's that shadow? Oh, I bet you it's the statue. That fan scared me again. It's my number one fan. All right, we're going in. Nice and easy. Can I grab it? Grab. Backing up. Okay, I don't know. Should we go? Okay, I'm going. Dumb idea. Dumb idea. Ew. My, oh, God. Yep. It's a statue. It's alive. I'm going to be stupid and follow you. Oh, my God. It's gone. This is such a bad idea. Where'd the statue go? Oh no! I'm getting chills, man. I thought the statue was a good thing. I'm not feeling that no more. Dad's room. Why is his room all the way over here? Oh my god, statue's gone. I can turn that off and on. Nope, it turns off. Oh my god. We got a piano. Can I go over there? The piano is blocking the front door. Oh, that's the way out? 
All right. Open sesame. Where'd that statue go? That fucking statue. Am I... Am I going insane? Dude, you are insane, man. You... Okay. People just putting stuff in the toilet. This is a projector. You got that VHS on the ground? You're gonna have some home movies, man. What is that? Another clock, but it's got a weird shadow around it. I'm seeing references to all sorts of movies right here. Uh, we, oh, oh, we gotta get the stuff that I, ah, uh, that film. Okay. Yeah, let's just go down the red hallway. Let's do this. Looks like a good idea. Let's just take a picture of that. Yep, let's back up for a second. That seems like a good plan. Oh. And there's nothing there. There's nothing. Okay. If it's not if it's not in the picture, it's not real. Oh, it's my number two fan. Oh. Yo. What's going on with this? That's you. Why are you doing this to me? You're blocking my way. Oh my god, come on. Uh, okay. What is this? Grandpa never got over her death. That sucks. Elizabeth Maxwell, 1968. And there's a bunch of pictures here. I probably got to take a picture. Say cheese. Stop with the freaking door sounds. Can we take a picture of the floor? As a professional at shaking Polaroids. Okay. We're going to the creepiness. I'm going. I'm going. What is this? It's just another clock I can't do anything about. Open the door. We got a safe. Grandpa's office. Okay, if these safes are connected, I'm going to be very happy. This is all over this wall. How to contact the dead. All this time, we thought he went mad. But he only wanted to talk to her again. Yeah, that's some uh, bad stuff, bro. Contacting the demons. Okay, we gotta be able to unlock the safe. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. Are you telling me it's all the clocks? It's all the clocks, isn't it? Oh, man. I should have been taking uh, taking pictures of them. Oh, there's another one. All right. So, what do we got here? Oh, that's the circle one. Thirty-three year old Pascal or Pascal Maxwell. I'm gonna take that. We can put that up in the attic. Oh no no no! Come on. Come on now. Don't play with me. All right, take a picture of it. Got an achievement. Say, oh, come on. Don't you do this. Okay. Why are you playing with me? I don't like that statue. He's gone. Oh. Okay, let's go check it out. I got chills. Where you at, statue? I hate this statue now. Can't, can't open that. Oh. Don't do it. 
You do it. Oh, I heard something. The door just opened, didn't it? It didn't. Okay. I got like chills on my legs and stuff. So we can go up in the attic. And I'm lagging. We also got this clock. Looks like it's still going though, but I'll take a picture of it just in case. The other question is how we how did oh statue's back again. How do we know which clock goes first? That's the other question. There's another one in here, right? And I don't remember where all the clocks are. Okay, no, that's that. I know there's a clock in here. Right there. Take a good picture. Is there any indicator that tells us like a number of what clock this is? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. They all kind of look the same to me. Let's head over here. I remember right, there was one more clock. Yep. Okay. And then this is this clock. I think there's one more clock that we were missing, and I think it's the other direction. Is that safe? How many slots? I got seven out of eight. Okay. Before I... Uh, I do have one uh, one slot open, so I can put that paint in there and then make more room as I go. But I definitely want these. All right, maybe I should just get rid of that container. There we go. I'll put the container in there. Head this way. Nope, not that way. This way. All right, we can go to the... Oh, I got that tape too that I never played. Tape two. Becoming possessed by your wicked entity is signified by a loss of control over the body, mind, and the soul. However, that is often not enough for the entity. It hungers for more. Things get much worse for the host. In these cases, possession is just the first step of the demon's plan. It is said there are those that return to our world seeking to resolve unfinished matters from their mortal lives. The victims lives? of these wicked possessions are subjected to a departure of sorts. An astral transportation, for lack of a better word. An astral what? These malicious beings force their hosts to, to live moments that shouldn't be possible in a different place and time. Perhaps even in a different dimension altogether. It's madness. It's unclear whether these transportations occur inside the mind, or if the host is physically taken to some alternative reality. Alternative reality? I'm losing my mind. All right. Did that just make room in my inventory? It did. All right, we're doing good on inventory. And yes, you're losing your mind, man. What is that? Oh, it's in here now. Can you stop, statue? Why are you playing with me? Open this thing. Yep, you're gone now. Of course you're gone. Never had a statue play with me like this before. 
She's gone. I don't remember if there was a, a picture that way. No, it just goes down down to the well. Okay, no. For the, the clock. And this clock's moving. All right, we're going up. Let's go check what's up here first. Of course, you gotta look down at the ladder. Come on. Why do you gotta look down, man? Weirdest thing. Okay, we got the circle painting, so let's put it here. Where is it at? There it is. Hanging it up. Also, we gotta take that. Yeah. Okay, we gotta take the square one off and we gotta figure out what the number is. Grab it. Oh, it's a question mark. Oh, come on. Tired of you. Oh, and there's another clock. It's your time. Statue's gone again. I think that statue's just there to mess with you. Alright, there we go. Let's take a picture of this. Whatever that does. Thirteen. And then we need a hexagon and a diamond. I think this one's the diamond, right? Yep. Okay. So we're missing a painting. We also need to figure out how to get in here. We need like a crowbar or something. The hammer won't work. Can we go through this wall? I ain't gonna look in there again. I'm a little scared of that. Okay, let's go back down the the ladder here and once we go down here we're gonna go it's back to that uh um not camera but projector here it is turn around okay where's, where's the statue you know that thing's gonna come and get me again and this is just that clock oh maybe this is wait a minute so this is the clock. It says Albert Maxwell. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess here. Maybe we gotta go by the hands. So maybe it goes hour, minute, second. So it'd be like nine, twelve, but that's in between one and two. One second. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, wrote it down. Let's see if that's going to be something that helps us. You know that statue's going to be right around the corner. Where you at? Where you at, statue? Behind me? Okay, going back. I'm trying to go fast. The only thing that's going to keep me from getting super scared. Super fast. Oh. You little. Should I do this or should I go to the safe first? All right, let's just do the projection. What do we got? We're gonna have it come out of the wall now? Oh my lord. Oh, it's gonna get creepy. Grandma. All movies, man. we go what is that these photos are pretty old okay here we go this keeps going back and forth I thought something was gonna jump what exactly are these pictures for? I'm not exactly sure what that's for yet. We'll have to come back to it. Oh, here he goes. 
Oh yeah, there's gonna be some it stuff. Here it comes. Oh look. Picture. Oh. Okay. I figured it out to do the picture in the middle of it. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna look. Okay. Man, I'm scared. I am scared. All right, we got more stuff now. And there's that statue again. Go beat yourself up. Oh, God. Don't come out. Okay, get in here. All right, we're going to try this safe real quick. Let's see. It was from the clock. Now, if that's how it works, we're going to... I wrote it down, so let's try nine... And then we got to go 12 and then maybe all the way back around. No, nope, that's not it. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. Okay. What about this one. Let's try nine. Well, oh, I messed that up. Nine. Well, the weird thing is the second hand doesn't really work too good because it's in the between, so I don't think that's the case. And we contact the dead. Oh my god. Noises. All right. I think this will do for now. Okay, everyone, this is the end of episode two of Madison. And this game is getting really scary. I got the hairs rising up on my neck and stuff and freaking out. And I, I like the references of a lot of other horror movies. I'm seeing like uh, it coming out, like when it came to the projector. And then we got Insidious with the red door. And we got uh, all sorts of other references here, which is pretty cool. All right, everyone, if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me if you got jump scared like I did. and. Uh, if this is one of the scariest games you've seen or not. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll enjoy your support and see you in the next one. Later.